saying goodbye to Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. She was remembered today lying in repose at the Supreme Court. ABC 15's Nick Saletti in Washington, D.C., speaking to the people who knew her best. Justice Sandra Day O'Connor returning to the place that she served so proudly and loved so dearly for one final goodbye. A tribute for a trailblazer. Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court, arriving Monday to the place that would cement her spot in history. A line of clerks who worked under Justice O'Connor were there to say one final goodbye. Today, I know she is smiling, knowing that four sisters serve on her court. Inside, a tribute from current Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Sandra was a living example that women could take on any challenge, could more than hold their own in spaces dominated by men, and could do so with grace. What do you make of that now? It's about time, and I'm waiting for there to be nine. If you can yeah, have right. nine men, why can't you have, have nine, nine women? And that's what you know, she said. Why can't you have that's nine exactly black you women? Can, you, know, you can, all these other combinations, but she led the way. Sheridan Harley knew Justice O'Connor personally. She and her friends were part of a workout club that Justice O'Connor formed early on in her tenure. And these women all lived in the neighborhood. So they would start coming to the class and they'd say, Justice O'Connor, my neighbor wants to come. Can she come? And so the class grew into this huge group of women only that exercised in the basketball court, which was above the Supreme Court, so she always said it was the highest court of the land. What is it like for you to get to be here today to honor her in this way? It's like closing a final chapter. It's always important and then just to say goodbye. She always conducted herself with dignity and thoughtfulness. I think that's important. Um, I think we'll, you know, we'll always be proud that she was there. The funeral for Justice O'Connor will begin at 9 a.m. Arizona time tomorrow at the Washington National Cathedral. We know that President Joe Biden is going to deliver one of the eulogies. And we are also hearing from Senator Mark Kelly in his office that he will be there in attendance as well. Reporting here from our nation's capital tonight, Nick Saletti, ABC 15, Arizona. Oh, Nick, thank you.